All right, boys and girls, something the internet has been waiting for forever. Cold start on a Ford Transit van with a 3.7 liter V6. Beast under the hood. I don't have remote start, so I've got to put the key in. Whoa. You don't get that from everyone. Listen to that whine. Sticker right there. Will I be a better fisherman? A couple more days like this, we'll actually be able to mountain bike around these parts. All right, so the other task I had to do was uh, install these ABS uh, vent visors, and they are super important because I have got to cut a 14 by 14 hole in the roof of the van to install this vent fan and if the vent fan has nowhere to pull air from then it's just not going to function that great so these things and these are the ABS ones um, they just stick on with double-sided tape or actually the tape already comes pre-applied to the visor and uh, you just peel up a couple of inches on each end, put it in place. I use some painter's tape and uh, pull the rest of the strip and then seal it across the top there. So it's pretty easy. I mean, probably took me 10 minutes in total with opening the package to actually get these installed. And so these will allow me to roll the window down a little bit. So maybe a half inch or so and uh, not get a bunch of rain coming in the window and with this window and the and the driver's side window i should be able to create some good airflow through this thing even when it's raining and uh, because the top vent has a cover as well this is the driver's side and that's going to help with the moisture and also temperature control all right so the other thing i did was install this pro clips um phone holder so basically it just kind of snaps into a little triangle recess part there it's it's pretty sturdy and uh, just bought a magnet to uh, double tape on that and then uh, magnets in my phone case and my phone sits nicely up there and uh, it's been pretty solid i've been over a few bumps but uh, we'll see how it works out in the mountains but i think you know for now i'm gonna pause work on the cockpit i think it's uh is set up pretty good for just normal driving around town and some short trips so i'm gonna start turning focus to the back of the van now the other project i have to do is install this ladder this is a prime design ladder and uh, this is going to install on the rear door and give me access to the roof and uh, or the roof whatever you want to call it but uh so I'll probably have more than one person up there at a time when I'm installing stuff. So uh, we'll be able to at least climb up from the back and then maybe use uh, a regular, uh, regular ladder like the such to actually get on from the side. We are going to actually assemble this ladder and start working on this ladder. So let's do it. We've got lots of parts here. And we've got the instructions. I took a look at them. They didn't look too awfully hard. So um, let's get started. I'm gonna put you guys in uh, time lapse mode. Nail. <laughs> All right, so I've got the ladder together. Uh, 
Now it's a matter of marking and hanging it on the door. So the instructions say, starting at the inner door measure four inches horizontally outward, okay. Using a wax or grease pencil, make marks at the top and bottom of the door at three and an eighth of an inch. Hang the ladder's upper door brackets onto the top of the door, ensuring the rubber isolators fully seat onto the door's edge. So there's this very specific point on the door that they want this ladder to hang. Let's try that. We've got to move everything. Alright, it says make marks top and bottom of the door. Three to eight. Let's see if white on white grease pin works. This thing is a, it's a uh, boltless mount. So uh, all of the gear is basically held on by tension. And so these things will go like that as I tighten them up. And it just overlaps at the, the door at the top as well. See if we can take a look up there. See, it just overhangs the door. And they, they make you want to put it in a specific spot. Two reasons, uh, because of the latching mechanism but also i think probably the door is probably the strongest in the in the area that they uh they mentioned that as well so so now it's a matter of um, leveling it out plumbing it up and uh, tightening it up so let's do that all right so now it's just a matter of kind of tightening these things up
All right, so I think I've got these rods adjusted enough. Um, so now I just need to tighten these carriage bolts up. I just noticed that these uh, just like they're seven sixteenths, they're not they're not tight up there either. So I've got to go up there and tighten those up as well. But I think I've got the bottom. I hit my mark down there. Somewhat hit my mark there. So we'll see how level it is. All right. Had to finagle it a bit, so uh, yeah, I think it's time to give it a test. All right, another project now. Notice you've got a magnet there that holds the door open when it's unlocked and uh, fully open. And you put the uh, ladder on. You don't quite close and the ladder actually bumps up against the van right there. So I just kind of let it rest against. Let it rest against there for now. It's about, I would say, an inch and a half. Four. So I could potentially put a bump guard there, which I'll probably do because I'll probably forget about it and swing that thing up and dent up everything. But all right, guys, that'll do it for this video and the van update. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up. And uh, share the links with your friends if you haven't already. If it's the first time to the channel, please subscribe. And if it's more than the first time to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Until next time, you know what to do. Skill up and ride, van up and go.